p.m. regular session. Call the meeting to order. Um, let's stand uh, for the invocation, please. And that will be by Chaplain Robert Davis. With bowed heads. Oh God, we do thank you and we praise you, oh God. Oh God, for this gathering once again, and we ask you, Lord, to bless each and every one involved. We ask every situation, every issue, oh God, that's dealt with, let it be dealt with, oh God. Honestly and openly, oh God. And in a way, oh God, most civilized, oh God. And so, Lord, we ask you to bless each and every one here. Bless, keep, protect, and we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you all of the praise. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Salute. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Madam Clerk, will you call the roll? Council Member Blair? Present. Council Member Brown? Here. Mayor Pro Tem Neal? Eddie. I'm here. <laughs> Mayor Madrigal. I am here. Thank you. Okay, we have established a quorum so we can conduct the city's business. Is there any, um, at this time we'll approve the agenda or if, are there any additions and or deletion, deletions that the council would like to make? Seeing none, move on. So we did have three items earlier in closed session and we have nothing to report on those items. This time we will go to public comment. I do have three cards here for public comment. Connie Wolashen. Connie Wolashen, 523 C Street in Lamar. Uh, I'd like to, uh, I don't know if you guys are how to put something on the agenda. I'd like something clarified. About six weeks ago, I asked about the Voorhees property. And uh, it said that Mr. Voorhees hadn't fulfilled his part of the contract, but Mr. Olson said towards the end that he still owned the property. And I'd like to know how he can own that property if he did not fulfill his part of the contract. And Mr. And then I had asked about the uh, uh, oversight committee, and Mr. Olson did clarify that. But today I was looking through the warrant registry and stuff, and I saw that in 10-4 that the city spent $44,891 approximately for attorney's fees. <laughs> Yow. So, and that's, and then I would also like to know if you guys could uh, like put on the agenda and look at the Chriscom uh, contract. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Amy Ward. Hello, I just wanted to extend an invitation to council and to city staff tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. over at the Lamore Raceway, we will be having a chamber mixer. Um, this is being hosted by the Lamore Raceway for the first time ever, so we're really excited about that partnership. They will be providing food and wine tasting for those that are over 21. So if you guys would like to come out, we are encouraging um, as many people to show up, support the raceway, they'll have some of the racers out there. So we hope to see you guys there. Thank you. Thank you. Linda Lahadney. Good evening. Um, I'm here to give you a little bit of an update on the mural project that we have <coughs> talked about in a little bit. Um, I have turned in the final application to planning. And I, um, Judy Hallwell suggested that maybe I come tonight and kind of give you a heads up. Um, it will be on your November 6th agenda for your discussion and approval. Um, so tonight what I've brought for you is um, the artwork. You each have a copy of the art, the actual artwork to scale. Um, it's the actual mural 
is going to be eight feet by 20 feet in length. And so the, the color drawings that you have are um, eight inches by 20 inches. So it's to scale. It is, um, I think I told you before, it's going on top of the uh, Kings County Office of Education out on East Bush, Bush Street across from the Travel Lodge Motel. It'll be highly visible coming into and exiting that entrance of Lemoore. Um, and so, and I've also attached to that the, a sheet that talks about the symbolism of the mural. Every, everything on the mural is symbolic of a nationality that's present in our community. Um, some of them from the beginning of our history and some of them more current. Um, and the, our artist, our mural artist is Mario Gonzalez. He's the head of the Lamar High School Art Department. Um, and once, the, once it's approved, um, the work will be done in his classroom and it will be open to the public to work on this. There will be a painting schedule that he will be supervising. So we're encouraging, really encouraging a lot of community work and input. Um, the designs that we came up with were all a result of community input. So um, I'm just, I'm really proud of this. I'm excited to move forward. And so I will see you all on November 6th. That's very nice. Thank you. So if you have any in between times, okay, so there's also a little letter. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to be out of the area for a few weeks, but um, I will be in town up through this Friday. If you have a specific question, you can shoot me an email and I'll try to answer your questions. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other public comment? You don't have to turn in a card. We like it if you do. All right, seeing none, we'll move on to. Well, uh, I have a. I do have one. Um, it's just, uh, with the explanation of what the pieces mean, can we put that on our website so that the community can also take a look and, and see um, the symbolism behind each of the letters? Can we put that on our website as well? Uh -huh. okay. That was it. Thank you. And maybe a copy of the, um, the color prints that we have. We put a copy of this on our website so the community can take a look. Yep. We have it. Kind of what it looks like. I'm going to bring it out so that people can pass around, okay? So. Let me hand one over there on that side. We'll hand one over here on this side, too. Great idea. Okay, so while we're still in public comment, we have received a letter that um, the uh, resident would like me to read into the record. This letter is from Miss Ashley Terrell. She's a resident of Lemoore. Dear Mr. Olson, I am writing this letter to file a formal complaint against City Council Member Holly Blair on 10-13-2018 at about 9.45. I was collecting signatures for the recall effort against Council Member Blair. I had stopped at the Starbucks in Lemoore with Tammy Alanese when we were approached by a male. He stood uncomfortably close and was staring at my shirt. I was wearing a Restore Lamore shirt which read Restore Lamore Recall Holly Blair on it. As I stood at the counter, the male subject walk, walked off and my friend Tammy Alanese told me that the male was Councilwoman Blair's husband. The male walked out of the store and I turned around to get our drinks with my back to the door I heard a female's voice state, they're not even looking. We turned around and saw Councilwoman Blair standing there with her husband. He had his phone in his hand, was either video recording or taking photographs of us. It was at this time that Miss Alanese displayed her shirt to Blair, who was now standing next to her. Miss Alanese stated that it was nice that they could agree to disagree. Councilmember Blair responded very loudly, this is true. But I still still think you are a ra you are racist as I won't say the word it starts with an F. Shocked and embarrassed, Tammy responded, "I am not a racist." Starts with an F. I won't say the word. 
Miss Blair replied with, I did not say you were a racist F. I said you were a racist as F. But if you would like to call yourself a F, by all means, go right ahead. I was mortified and appalled by this encounter and her behavior. Not only was I on the management team at Starbucks for 11 years and called it my second home, it is a family-oriented business. Customers come in to relax and grab a coffee, not to be subjected, subjected to vile language and inappropriate behavior. I believe that Councilwoman Blair and her husband's sole purpose was to attempt to intimidate us to stop participating in the recall effort. It should also be noted that the ages of the customers at this time in the store ranged from young children to senior citizens, none of which, which should ever have to experience the unprofessional demeanor or derogatory tone used by Councilwoman Blair. Her behavior and foul language, language was an embarrassment to the city of Lemoore and brings discredit upon the council. Sincerely, Ashley Terrell. Thank you. All right, we will move on to ceremonial presentation. Uh, Lemoore Police Department K-9 Diesel with Handler Officer Jakes, uh, Chief Smith. Good evening, council members. I'm going to move this over here for my next presentation. I was just going to say that uh, Tanner's partner Diesel was going to join us in here for formal introduction and recognition, but we'll be going outside afterwards to have a presentation. I will say that this dog is a triple threat. So this dog is a drug dog, a patrol dog, and a tracking dog. So I was going to say if anyone has anything in their pockets they shouldn't have, <laughs> now might be a good time to have an emergency to leave. <laughs> there may be some uh, black and whites out there too, so I don't know what to do about it, so. Okay, on with the, uh, I did disclose it, so if anyone has anything, please leave. <laughs> Officer Jakes, he, uh, he was born and raised here in Lemoore, grew up in the city of Lemoore, and I recruited him while in the academy. Saw a lot in this young man. I was uh, really, uh, I admired his will on a daily basis that I saw him during training. In January of 2016, he graduated the Tulare Kings Basic Police Academy. He was sworn in as a Lemoore Police Department officer. And over the past three years, he has excelled in the department. So a little over a year ago, Officer Jakes uh, and his partner Diesel teamed up. They received eight weeks of training down in Banning, California, which is pretty <coughs> intense training, I hear. I could never be a handler because I wouldn't have the patience that these gentlemen and ladies have to have when they have a partner in a canine form. They went down there and uh, successfully trained. It's been a little over a year that uh, Tanner's been teamed up with his partner Diesel. They've been very successful, uh, assisted in Narcotics Task Force on many occasions, very proactive as far as community demonstrations. You'll see them at the MIQ Fall Festival, Red Ribbon Week, uh, National Night Out, you'll see them there. And uh, over the past year, he also was able to compete at the Sierra Canine Trials, and I believe he received fourth place in the area search, so Tanner did very good. Lamore Police Department is very fortunate to have a whole canine unit led by Commander Mike Kendall, uh, Tanner Jakes and his partner Diesel, and Sergeant Henderson and his partner Aries. Uh, Commander Kendall actually had a dog chemo and then he had Aries and then turned Aries over to uh, Sergeant Henderson when he promoted out of the canine position. He wanted to keep his dog as a commander, but I wouldn't let him do it. <laughs> That's how passionate he is about the, about the position. But tonight I wanted to uh, formally introduce Tanner and his partner Diesel. If you see him in the community, say hi. They're out there a lot doing these community events. And also we're going to have the demonstration and any volunteers for the bite suit? No? Okay, I'll take that as a no. So. Wasn't very enthusiastic about that, right? And also, um, we also have a special presentation. One of my colleagues is here tonight, uh, Chief Stivers from Avenel. They recently started a uh, canine program, and he asked if he can come tonight to make a special presentation. So I'm going to turn the floor over to him for a couple minutes if council would allow me yes. to do that. Please do. Uh, thank you, Daryl. Good, good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of the council, Mr. City Manager. Um, took a lot to get 
Commander Kendall here tonight, I'm sure, but uh, what <laughs> Chief Smith um, pointed out is Commander Kendall's passion towards the K-9 unit. So in the Avenal Police Department, we just started our K-9 unit about two months ago, and your Commander Kendall here is a big part of that. His vision for our uh, dog and our, the selection of our dog, the process he walked us through building the K-9 unit from the start to the finish. So um, he was there for my incessant phone calls and uh, the don't worry chief we got it handled uh, enough times to make me confident in uh, making this a reality so uh, we're a new PD we're not even eight years old so we did have some vision on getting the canine unit started we only have one dog at this time I've already been asked when we're getting our second dog I said let's uh, let's get some time under our belt but I wanted to present uh, Mike a, uh, a crystal award for his uh, generous support of the Avenal PD canine so I'm going to let Tanner tell you a little bit about his partner, um, Diesel. You knew it was coming, Tanner. Yeah. Come on. yeah. <laughs> guys. Um, so yeah, my name's Tanner. Me and Diesel have come a long way. You know, like Chief said, that it takes a lot of patience to run a dog. And I didn't have that patience from the start. You know, I was in school, stressed out. I came a long way. You know, Diesel's changed me. You know, I never thought I, you know, would be a cannon officer. You know, it's always been my dream. And, you know, I want to thank everybody, the community, and my family, my girlfriend, she's in here somewhere. <laughs> and um, I just want to let you guys know that it's an, an honor to serve the community that I grew up in. And so Diesel, he's three years old. He's a Belgian Malinois. You know, he's a very good dog. His commands are in Dutch, so I had to learn a few commands in Dutch, which was kind of difficult because there's some different language. <laughs> well. Hopefully you guys get to see outside what um, suspect apprehension we have for you know, our canine program and what a great tool that our canines are for, you know, to assist officers and prevent them from getting hurt. So thank you guys for having me. And thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So if we could move outside for a few minutes for the demonstration, yes. and if anyone speaks Dutch, refrain from speaking Dutch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take five. We'll go ahead and take a few minutes and go outside and watch this demonstration.